Trenchers! What's up? We got a new album, Mariana's Trench. We got Haven. Uh, I am doing a full series. I'm reacting to the entire album. I'm posting every single song today. Uh, that is my goal, at least. It will. We'll see how fast I can get everything edited. Um, if you're coming on, if you're coming from the rest of the videos, thank you so much for sticking with me. And if you're here uh, just because you wanted to see the reaction to Turn and Run, then I would highly suggest you go check out the other videos. I'm giving um, analysis and critique from a production perspective from somebody who has done composition, arrangement, a little bit of sound design, a little bit, only a little bit, um, mostly mixing and mastering, and production. So if that's something you're interested in, I think you're going to have a good time here. The format that I'm trying to stick to today is that we will listen to the song. I'm going to try my best not to pause. I've not been doing fantastically, but I made it through the last song without pausing, I think. So uh, we're going to try to make it through the whole song. I'm going to try not to stop it. And then I have a notepad pulled up on my other monitor, and we're going to go... Uh, I'm going to take some notes while I'm listening and go back to them after the song has ended. And hopefully I'll get uh, pretty specific timestamps along with those. So anyway, let's get into it. Turn and Run, Mariana's Trench, track 9 on Haven. I love the strings on this album so much. Sorry. strings are so good. so much. I really hope these videos don't get copyright strike. element of this. Yeah. 
I love that tubular bell. Just on Incredible. Uh, once again, as with Stand and Fight, also, uh, don't think that's gone unnoticed, Stand and Fight, Turn and Run. However, once again, just like with Stand and Fight, uh, my notepad's empty. So, apart from the fact that the chorus of this is referring back to... I think it was the chorus also in A Normal Life, uh, which is awesome. I don't really think I have too much to say about this one. I, I think, unfortunately so far, this is, in my opinion, the weakest track on the album. Um, which I don't want to, I don't want to be like misconstrued. I still think it's a great song, uh, but it is my least favorite that I've heard so far. It's too late to try. Let's see. Um, I know that I'm not so if we listen to the reverb on this vocal, once again, and I'm, I'm worried I'm starting to sound like a broken record, but if you listen to this reverb, it's pretty dark. Yeah, if you listen to the reverb, it's it's pretty dark. Not a whole lot of high end in that. Uh, I'm telling you guys, doing doing a low pass on your reverb can really it can go a long way. It can go a long way, and this whole album so far is proof of that. All of the reverbs that I that I've like really paid attention to so far are not really bright reverbs. They're they're pretty dark. We're by a thread, though it's this sounds like a high pass at like, or a low pass at like, three mm, K, maybe four K. I mean, his voice is stellar, right? <coughs> oh, there's a synth in there. I didn't realize that on my first pass. There's a there's an arpeggiator, there's an arpeggiated uh, bass line in there. And when I say arpeggiated, I don't mean like I don't mean like that kind of arpeggiated. I mean like well, if we turn the tempo up a little bit, like that kind of arpeggiation. Like I explained this in uh, I think the end of the storm video. I don't know. I'm starting to lose track. Uh, but I didn't realize that was there on my first listen, and I think that is pretty darn cool. What else have I missed? Also, just strings and percussion on this are so good. Um, I, like I said, I'd be really, really interested to know if they recorded all of the strings and all of the orchestral percussion... I'd love to know if those are all real instruments or if samples have been blended in with any of it. Um, like I said, Josh, I know, has posted on Instagram a lot about, like, recording real strings in the past, so I'm I'm pretty confident that most of it, at least, is real strings, which is just awesome. But, like I said, unfortunately, uh, this has been my least favorite song that I've heard off this album so far. Um, but I'm expecting we're going to get back into the meat of things. Uh, if you are coming from the last videos, then I'm sure I'll see you in the next one. And if you're just popping in to see my reaction to this one, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't have like a whole lot to say about it, but, uh, definitely watch the other songs in this playlist because I'm doing the whole album and... I've had a lot to say about some of the other songs and, you know, a lot of, um, a lot of knowledge to share 
and a lot of um, a lot of helpful little tips and tricks, I think. So, I will see you in the next one. Uh, it's going to be Worlds Collide. Super excited to uh, get into that song. I will see you there. Bye-bye.